So, what is up everybody, this is Alday OBJ here, bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary, and this gameplay is going to be a 13-11 hardpoint gameplay, overall it was a pretty decent gameplay, even though the kills and deaths like weren't, you know, the maximum possible, I thought it was pretty enter entertaining because I was, you know, really playing the objective, um, you know, just doing well on the objective, rushing around, and overall, I thought it would be um, a pretty entertaining gameplay just to go in the background um, of my kind of multiple commentary topics for this commentary. So pretty much in this commentary I want to talk a little bit, bit about what I'm going to be doing in the future for um, kind of just for different you know different types of videos to be making. So now first off I want to talk about a series a couple of different series ideas that I had. So I think I'm going to be doing a series on you know uh, kill streak comparisons and just comparisons of all sorts of different elements of the game because I think that would be pretty interesting to see and kind of just kind of just something new because you know there are a lot of you know tips and tricks kind of videos out there and there are a lot of you know tips and tricks youtubers but instead of doing that kind of thing like I might do a little bit of that but I think kind of just comparing different elements of the game would be kind of fun to do a series on because it's kind of fun to kind of do something different you know as Besides the regular kind of commentaries and getting trying to get really good gameplays and stuff like that, it's good to have a change and you know just a variety of of things in general, really. Now, if you didn't know already, um, in this game, actually, well, in this gameplay, I'm pretty sure I was playing on a pretty low sensitivity. I've been fiddling with my sensitivity quite a lot, actually. I've been trying to find you know the perfect sensitivity. I played on a 4 at first, well no, I pl I started on an 11, then, wow, that was a good triple, <laughs> anyways, so I started on an 11, at the beginning of the game, that's what I played on, now, as the game progressed, actually, you know, I, I lowered it, and then I lowered it to a 4, because, you know, as I stopped sniping, because I got kind of just bored of sniping, and started, you know, getting into competitive COD, I decided, you know, you know, just kind of just lower the sensitivity because if you look at pro players like Scumpy for example he plays on a really low sensitivity and the reason for that is because you want to have the best aim possible and having a low sensitivity will help you with that now here's the thing I tried you know applying on a low sensitivity for quite a while but in the end I ended up raising it back to an 11 and I think I'm gonna keep it this way now here's the reason for this obviously with a low sensitivity you're going to have better aim now, what I do is I have con control freaks, so, you know, that's not a huge problem as, you know, with control freaks, I can still aim pretty well. I can, you know, make very precise movements, that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, with that, I don't really don't need, you know, completely need to have uh, a lower sensitivity cause, because of the control freaks. Now, obviously, with control freaks and a lower sensitivity, I'll still have better aim. But here's the thing. When I play Black Ops 2, a lot of times, of course, in this gameplay, I'm not doing it too much, but I do, I jump around like I'm weaving and dodging between people, trying to dodge bullets, drop shotting, jump shotting, and because of all, like, the, the movement and actions I do, it, for me at least, I feel like it helps a lot more to play on a high sensitivity because I can snap to targets, because if I'm going to be jumping around and that kind of stuff, it helps a lot to and kind of have a higher sensitivity. So, that was just my kind of idea on raising it. Let me know what sensitivity you play on in the comments section below. But, anyways, back to the video. So, obviously, as I said, lower sensitivity and higher sensitivity, there are pro pros and cons to both, really. So, you know, you can just use whatever kind of suits you. But, if you're going to play on a higher sensitivity, I'd definitely recommend FPS Freaks. Even if you play on a low sensitivity, they still help quite a lot. So, you know, if you haven't tried out, you know, FPS Freaks already, then go ahead and get them. They're pretty cheap. I think they're, like, 10 bucks. That's what I got mine for. So, they're really, it depends on which model you get. I just got, got the classic ones. But, overall, they are quite 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 good and they really do help I don't think it's you know a placebo effect or anything I do actually think I do actually think that they help but anyways as I said I was thinking about starting some I said I was gonna start you know a series of comparisons of different kind of things so so you know expect to see that kind of content coming up on my channel soon I'm gonna start working on it soon I'm gonna just try to what I'm gonna try to do is kind of compare like 
all sorts of elements of the game, as I said earlier. So, for example, I would compare score streaks, for example. Let's say I would compare, like, the dogs and the swarms, kind of show the pros and cons of both, and kind of why you would use each one, just why you should use different things in general. So, overall, I think that would be it's kind of an interesting series to do, kind of branch off, you know, from the regular kind of commentary kind of things. So, I think I'm definitely going to be starting off some things like that. And also, I maybe I haven't continued my Survival Island series in a while. That's because I haven't really been playing on that uh, much Minecraft at all at all lately. I've kind of gotten, I don't know, it seems kind of repetitive after a while. Maybe that's just me, but, you know, I think if you it does get repetitive. I know you could say the same about many other games, but even so, that's just, you know, kind of how I feel about it. But I will probably start continuing that, um, that you know, series thing later. But, yeah, so, as you can see in this gameplay, I did not actually get any... The only streak that I got was my stealth chopper. I totally choked the Visa. I was, like, you know, less than... I was, like, 75 score off because a stealth chopper is 100, is 100 and I got, like, one assist. But it was, I, I feel like, you know, somewhat of a more entertaining gameplay just because of kind of the objective playing that I did. But anyways, this gameplay is coming to a close as we get through this final kill here. Um, click any of the links that pop up um, to visit any other videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.